Hello. I believe slightly in the lazy American. Not really. Like, every American is lazy. And they need to get off their rump and go outside and play something. I don't know. what. I, oh well, whatever. But, I believe that... I don't believe in hard-to-find information. That makes me angry when teachers give you, like, four websites to try and find a piece of information, and it's not on either any of them. So, this is the situation for me. For most of my, the electronic projects, they'll be like, go to this site and you can find everything you need. But then they want, like, $300 for something, so. This is how to make an EMP gun. It, like, destroy. it just, uh, disables electronic small ones like that, but... Uh, does a very good job of it. So the first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a board from an old camera a charging circuit thing and then you're going to need or I've taken mine apart and stuff, but you need a capacitor from one of those a high voltage capacitor of Pretty much any type up to 400 volts. I think is around where it needs to be But mine only goes to 240, but that'll do the trick and then you need um something to measure the volts most likely that's uh, recommended it's quite helpful then you another recommended thing is a switch and I got this nice vice here to hold all my stuff so I enjoy it I just got it from my dad's garage because he had it and I found it so the switch is very helpful in uh, working so just touching two wires together and then you need some pretty thick wire. I got this from an old Xbox uh, power supply. They're wrapped around ferrite toroids inside there. They're, um, where's my transformer that I made? Um, there's one. And they're these little toroids, which are made of ferrite, but they're not covered in this wire like this. They're just covered in this wire, which is... This wire is a little bit thinner than that wire, which I got from there. So you're going to need to make a big coil of it. And I used both pieces and soldered them together in the middle. And that uh, big wire is what creates a uh, good current going through it. And then you're going to need this electronic device of some sort. Now this one works just fine. It's kind of uh, dim, so I'll tilt it. So the battery's like dead, so so you got it, and it works, and it gives you stuff, beeps, and everything. So you just stick that in the coil. You turn your meter on, if you have one, and you turn the switch off if you have one, or just keep the wires apart if you don't. You just keep it charging, keep it charging. Oop, I have the wires backwards, but okay. Matter doesn't really matter. 236 that should indeed do it now see I've got this working and you flip the switch Oop. let's get a good old angle on it and flip and it's reset and then you've got uh, less volts on it if I flip the switch it'll disappear and then it'll come back slightly because of the chart uh, capacitors have sort of a memory like batteries certain batteries so that capacitor will charge up to around one to two volts when stored and that uh, device has been reset just remember to keep your phones and other things away from it unless you want your phone to die because this will create a big electromagnetic field and you can erase something on your phone that you don't need to and then, well, you have issues. And, well, I kept my, I keep mine about a foot away from it or two or three feet away from it and I think that'll be plenty. And it reset it. So, that's it for my EMP device. Hope you guys enjoy have a great time building one if you do decide to build one. They're a nice little thing to have, even though they're useless. Nothing. But they're kind of cool to have. I'm not sure if I'll have anything else I can destroy with it. I tried crushing a can. It wouldn't crush a can. It's not strong enough. 
but I'll try and find some other things that I can uh, do that too. And we'll see you guys later.